have mentorship. What does that mean to you? The best mentoring I've received has been when the advice is practical and relevant to whatever experiences I'm going through right now. People that I've met that genuinely care about me, I see that they are a, an expert in what they do. Um, I want to align with them. Of course, I think it's better off to have very few but really high quality mentors. Find the people you really resonate with who have similar experiences to you and, and work in those industries and, and do that. Well, it's going to help you to accept new business, basically. If you don't have a mentorship, you cannot move forward. That's it. To me, mentorship means creating a relationship with someone um, or a group of people where you can really both, both learn and grow from each other. I'm just trying to look for people who have just gone through even harder things than what we've gone through and yeah. what have they learned and what are the principles we take from that. I think sometimes people have the expectation that a mentor doesn't necessarily receive anything, but there can be as much to learn from a mentee as from a mentor. What is a piece of advice that you would give to someone, whether they are in your field, what you're doing, or yeah. just in general, early stage career? There is this point of taking a deep breath and being patient, so you allow yourself opportunities to learn, opportunities to explore, opportunities to fail, and opportunities to take super big risks. Be yeah. curious and be passionate. That's all I really try to do, is just find passionate people and be passionate. Force yourself to be curious. Force yourself to ask questions of the world. Ask yourself, why have things been done in a certain way for a long period of time? Maybe what you find is it's the right way for things to be done, but what you also may find is it's not the right way for things to be done. Some of the best advice that I got when I was pursuing different things in my career was that nothing is a life sentence. So take a role, even if it feels like it's outside your comfort zone, and say, I'm gonna give this two years and let's see what happens. Stay consistent, be patient, don't look for shortcuts. Trust myself when I'm thinking about taking a risk because it's so easy to think about something that feels or sounds risky and let all of the other voices out there sort of dictate what you should do. And he reminded me that no one knows myself and my circumstances better than I do. And when I have that in mind and I'm doing what I think is best for myself, I really can't ever fail.